Okay, now we're on, I think. Hi, everyone. How are we all doing? Can, can y'all hear okay? Can someone just make sure that this is... Is everyone hearing that, the music, okay, on your end? Someone can just write in the chat that you hear it. That would be great, and then we will get started. So while I'm waiting for y'all to respond, um, uh, yes, we're good, awesome. Um, you can hear it clearly, that is great. So I'm gonna just start the class putting this link into the uh, chat here. So what we're about to do is a 20 minute pop rock warm up. Um, so if you want these exercises, you can go ahead and click on that link I just put in the backstage there. They'll take you to my Facebook business page. You just write the word rock on that post and then you will get it. Um, I just tested it out myself and it's working for me. So hopefully it will work for you. Um, the reason I did this is because we're gonna go kind of fast and I'm gonna talk more in this about why I'm having you do these exercises. So we'll do a few of them, but we're gonna kind of move along pretty quickly. So if you wanna practice these exercises, I recommend you just go there, it's totally free. Just go ahead and get the exercises so you can work on them. Um, so let's get going. So we're gonna start by talking about what, how is pop rock training different than training, say, legit or opera. Um, and I don't know who in this call feels like they already are a pop rock superstar and who is not feeling like that, but either way, this is gonna be good for you to go over. So I've been working with this uh, vocal style for over 20 years now. To me, the main difference in doing technical work around it is that we're trying to increase rhythm in the vocal line. If we listen to, you know, an old opera piece, Ave Maria, where the line is like pretty simple. It, if someone was going to do that in a pop rock way, Ave Maria, right, they're going to add stuff to that to give more stuff to listen to. So the theme of this warm up is going to be to try to break down some of the things you can do in a pop rock song that make it sound like it's in that style. So we're going to start with just a simple pattern like this, five, three, one. So the vowels are going to be ooh, oh, ah. Ooh, oh, ah. So just sing it classical like that for a sec. Ooh, oh, ah. So ooh, oh, ah. So there are four kinds of onsets or starts that we're going to use for these notes. So the first one is called a vocal fry. So everyone just go like this. Uh, hopefully you can hear that okay on this camera. It's vocal fry is a little weird to hear, but it's like that sound that, uh, that I call it a creak sometimes. And so if you start to listen for it, you'll hear a lot of pop rock people using that as an onset or a start of a note. So we're going to try it um, before we do it on pitch. We're going to try to slide it up and down a little bit because you got to be able to do it on different um, notes. So this is called by me a fry siren. So we're going to go like this. Uh, and you can hear me changing the note up and down. Yeah, let's give that a try. See if you can hold on to the creaky sound. So the creak, what that is, I'm going to show you my larynx here for a second. So this is um, a model I made of the throat. And so this is the vocal cords in there, the little white things in there. So when we do fry, the larynx has to go back to vertical like this. And if you are someone who is legit trained and you have a lot of vibrato in your voice, fry helps you take vibrato out. So we're gonna try it on pitch now. We're gonna start pretty low because it's easiest when you do this far down. So we're gonna start all the way down here, ooh, oh, ah, like this. Ooh, oh, ah. So every note starts with the vocal fry again. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Keep going. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh. Try a couple by yourself. Okay, so that's vocal fry. Now we're gonna try uh, an H or what's called an aspirate sound. So say who, ho, ha with an H before each one. Who, ho, ha. So pop rock singing is done on a mic usually. And so a mic likes air. And so having the huh before it can give your vocal cords a little bit of a breathiness after that. Now we don't want too much breathiness because that is um, 
that's not a good thing. Hold on one second. I realize I should have my phone by me. Forgot about that. Um, anyway, so uh, too much breathiness is not good um, in terms of projecting your voice, but a little bit like this can sound pretty cool. So we're gonna try it starting here. Who ho ha with H's. Who ho ha. So that's H, we got fry, ooh, H, who. Now we're gonna try a bend of pitch. We're gonna use a Y for this, so you, yo, ya. On the Y, I want you to scoop up to the note. So instead of hitting it clean on the note, bend to it. Um, if you can think of a song like that old song from the aughts, Black Horse and Cherry Tree, and I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, no. And every time KT Tunstall just bending into the first note, it's gonna kind of feel like that on ooh, oh, ah. So we're gonna start here, but we're gonna do you, yo, ya, and on the Y, you're gonna scoop like this. You, yo, ya. So scoop up to the note. You, yo, ya. So that's bending. And last we'll do a glottal, which is this, ooh, oh, ah. Everyone say that, ooh, oh, ah. Okay, so a glottal is the, this, the vocal cords come together and then the air pushes them apart. And that tends to make a little more chest voice. And again, too many glottals cannot be a good thing for singers, but using them a little bit in pop is good. A good example of, you know, Firework by Katy Perry, if we go, Make them go, ah, 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 while they shoot across the sky, ah, ah. It probably wouldn't have sounded so cool if she had gone, make them go, ah, as they shoot across the sky, right? That would be the opera version of it. But she goes, ah, 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 to add the rhythm to the voice. So we're going to try that on ooh, oh, ah, with a glottal start. Here we go. Ooh, oh, ah. So I teach this topic as a course, and when I'm doing it in a longer course, I will have people go away and come back with examples of these things from songs, both from uh, musicals that are pop rock style musicals, and then also just from off the radio. And so you could do that. You can go, can I hear a place where someone uses vocal fry or they use an H, they use a bend, or they use a glottal in the vocal line. So that's all exercise one. We're gonna move on as we got stuff to do. So exercise two is gonna be three kinds of sound chest voice or what's called thick vocal cords. Everyone take their hands together like this. So vocal cords can go like that where the bottom edge sucks together first. And that's called chest voice because it vibrates down into your chest. And then we've got a breathy voice, which vocal cords look like that. They actually come up in the back a little bit and splay out. And that is sometimes known as stiff vocal cords because they don't move very much um, or breathy sound. And then you've got head voice, which looks like this and the vocal cords come together just on the top, and that's gonna feel like it's going up into your head. So we're gonna try that in a sequence. This is kind of a long one, so you're gonna to have to take a fairly good sized breath before you do it. We're gonna go ah, ha, ya. So the first one is chest voice, second one on the ha is breathy voice, third one on the head is um, ya, is head voice. So it sounds like this. Ah, ha, ya. So you're trying it for three sounds, a chest voice sound, a breathy sound, and then a light head voice sound that's clear. Let's try it again. Ah, ha, ya. Here we go. Ah, ha, ya. Keep going. Ah, ha,
So when they say a song that shows range, that doesn't mean that you sing your high C and your low F necessarily in to show range. You can show range by just changing your vocal texture. That shows a range of qualities. And many times even within one line, they will do that. I was working with someone yesterday on the Eva Cassidy Time After Time. If you know that um, version, Cindy Lauper song, you should look, listen to it if you don't know it. And she, within one line, will belt and then go right to her head voice or right to her breathy voice. And so she does that to make the song feel more dynamic. So that's exercise two, aha ya. Now we're gonna work on straight tone. So if some of you on this call are legit people, you probably find yourself in pop going e and spinning it out. So we're gonna to try to inhibit that for this particular version. We're trying to aim for a totally straight tone sound. So the pattern's gonna be this. One and two and three, four, five, and then we'll take it down. I'm gonna demo on E first. If E doesn't feel good for you, you can try it on A ah or a different bell. So you're trying for totally straight tone voice. Here we go, two, ready, and. E. And so I'm doing these in a pretty low range because for most female voices, that's good to start with. If you're a man watching this call, you can try up the octave, you can try dropping the octave wherever you want. On the tracks that I made for you, I put a lot of a lot of keys in there. So if it's not a comfortable range for you, just start later in the track or start up and drop down. Y'all will figure it out. Um, let's go on to diphthongs. So diphthongs are where we are, um, we're using the two different vowels instead of one. So in, in a so-called general American accent, A, O are diphthongs the way we say them. So we're gonna use that in this. So we'll start with A and e, A, which is really E and E, A, E, A. So in like a classical piece, you would go A, in pop, you're gonna go A, 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 and you're gonna actually change the vowel. And that's again, to give more rhythm to the voice. So this pattern goes like this. It starts on the fifth. So we go A, 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 A. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. A, A, two, ready, and. A, 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 And now we'll do a few on O, so that's going to mean basically an A uh and an O, back and forth. O, 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 O. Here we go. Two, ready, and. O, 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 Good, I just saw a comment about, will you have this video later? Yes, you will, we'll be up on backstage. And if you're just joining the call now, I'm just gonna repost this link. So if you just go to this link um, and then kick to my Facebook page, so then you can get all these exercises for free. Um, you have the tracks of them, the audio tracks where I go into more keys and stuff, and also the sheet music there. So if you are wondering about it, you can go ahead and go there and get the, the goods. Um, so let's move on to riffing. So riffs are fast notes, right? 
So my favorite is second verse of Halo, Beyonce. Um, Burning through the darkest night. I'm sure you all have heard that one before. Uh, it's such a flawless example of a riff, which just means a lot of fast notes done cleanly and separating in the vocal cords. So if everyone does what I call a machine gun laugh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so your vocal cords will flutter apart when that's happening. Um, and so the idea is that the vocal cords come apart for a split second so that our ear hears it as not a slur or a slide, but as individual notes. So if you're a riff master, you can go ahead and try that Beyonce riff and other things like that. If you're newer at it, it's good to start with a smaller run of notes. So we're gonna start with this pattern. It's gonna go one, two, ready, and E, 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 E. And you can hear I'm not doing E, I'm not legato, I'm actually separating. E, 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 E. And I feel a space in between each of those notes. If you're new at it, try using your fingers. E, E. Even if you don't play piano accurately, that's fine. Just do one finger per note. Let's keep going. Two, ready, and E, 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 Okay, so that's version one. Now this is the variation. It goes like this. First part's the same. E, E, and then it goes E, 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 So that's a start at riffs. We'll do another one in a second, but let's talk about yodeling quickly. So everyone go like this, go ah, yeah, 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 up and down and from your chest voice to a breathy head voice. And we're gonna change from ah to e. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And you can hear when I do it, there's that little sound. So that would be bad in classical singing, right? We wouldn't wanna do that. That's not good technique in opera. But in pop, I might do that. I might want to flip, they call it, where I crack essentially into a breathy head voice. So this is a weird one to do with men and women on the call because it's different um, for different people. But I'm gonna demo it up a little bit higher because um, it's easier as a male to do it up there. If you're a female, try doing it down the octave so in your low range. So the pattern goes like this. We'll do o we o wa Oh we oh ah. Okay? So it goes like this. Oh we oh ah. Oh we oh ah. And you can hear me purposely changing my sound, yeah? Let's try a couple more. Oh we oh ah. Oh we oh ah. So with the chords, it would be this. Oh we oh ah. Oh we oh ah. Let's do one more. Oh, we, oh, ah, oh, we, oh, ah. Keep going. One more. Oh, we. Okay, so that is yodeling. I can see I am getting a little bit out of time here, so I'm gonna move on to my last two exercises. So there's something called the blues scale, slightly different depending on who you talk to, but we're gonna do this as the basic scale of it. Example of repertoire. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, right? So that's the blues scale in action. Happens a lot in pop singing. And so this is a riff that I made up on it. We're gonna use the word hey. So we're gonna do this. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. So you hear me going, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a little, I use the Y again, that diphthong that we did earlier. So the pattern again is this. 
like I can't too many notes do your fingers hey yeah 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 one finger one note make the notes real to yourself so you can break it down two more hey yeah 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 hey yeah 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 hey yeah 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 okay so that is the blues scale I'm a little over time so I'm just going to quickly do my last exercise which is just a belting exercise on staying with hey. So we're gonna stay with that blues scale. It's these notes. Hey, 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 yeah. So up, up four. Hey, 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 two, three, four, yeah. On the low note, hey, yeah. Two, ready, and. Hey, 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 yeah. Obviously, keep going up. If you're a male, you definitely should take this higher. So I'm going to put the link in the chat one more time in case you missed it. Um, so that is how you get these exercises. If you would like to do a little further study on this um, and kind of get into the, the nitty gritty of these things, I talk you through all the exercises there and I give you plenty of keys so it will suit whatever vocal range you have. I want to quickly summarize the call so you can just get a sense of what we did today. So we're trying to make rhythm in the vocal line. We do that through onsets, how we start, stop notes, textures of voice, straight tone versus vibrato, diphthongs using different vowels, riffing and runs, um, flipping, yodeling, and then using different scales, different scale types to create musical interest. Thank you so much for joining me for this. It was super fun to put this together for you. Hope you liked it. And I will hopefully see y'all again soon. Okay, bye. Have a good day.